Welcome to this episode of Do You Know What To Do? In this video, we're going to show you how to put a skirt on a slipcover. And if that's what you're looking for, then keep watching. You know, it's very important to have pen marks in all four corners of your complete skirt height. Uh, and this one, as I said, is 11 and a half inches. And the reason is on some furniture, it'll come in on the, on the uh, bottom. And if you were to measure down at the bottom, not thinking about it, where your height is finished, then your measurement's obviously going to be uh, too tight because um, or your skirts won't be long enough. They'll, they'll, they'll come up shorter than what they really need to be. So definitely put the corner uh, pens in and at the finished height of your skirt and then measure from there on over and then it'll be it'll be accurate. When you get to the cutting table you need to know what length left to right uh, your skirts need to be. We already know the depth the finished skirts on this is 11 and a half inches so we covered that in, in the other video. Simply get a, a clipboard and we're going to measure I've already done the measurements in advance but you would just put your tape to uh, underneath that pen and underneath this pen and I have 34 and a half. So obviously we, that would be duplicated on the other side so you got two at 34 and a half. So I wrote that down earlier. I'll give you a little tip. If you take a stick pen, I use what's called a T-pen and you can put it inside this little slit there in your tape measure and then you can do this by yourself quite easily simply by pushing it through the slit. See, look at this, it definitely wants to stay there. And I go to the height of the other pin. I go to the uh, underneath it and I have 81 and a half. So half of 81 and a half is 40 and three quarters. So I like to put a pleat in the back because if you do a long continuous um, uh, skirt with a liner, I've noticed they, they, they want to skew a little bit because it's hard to keep it straight when you're sewing it. So shorter distances work the best. They don't skew as much. Now we've established the side and the back, the length of the skirts that we need for that. Now we're going to do the front. Uh, traditionally, it, always really, the uh, pleat for the uh, three seat cushion would, would go right here, one there, and then one here. Now if you have a two uh, seat cushion, then it would be right here is where your pleat would go. So we're going to get the, the length that we need for that and you simply put your tape measure right here on the corner and measure over where the pleat is and I'm getting uh, about 29 right there, 29, make sure that's what I, yep, I got 29. So we're, we're right in the middle of 29 and it's going to be balanced, the 29's over there. If you want to double check it, that's fine but um, the, you're going to have 29 inch lengths here as well. We have one more to complete the um, skirts and that's our center cushion. So as I said before, we measured over from 29 from the outside of the arm to where this pleat's going to go here. And I'm going to reach over here and measure 29 over. And that makes it balanced. And then I'm going to measure between or measure from uh, one pen to the other rather and it's 24 inches. Okay, so we're going to mark down as I already did 24 inches for the center skirt. So now we've got our sides, we've got our two backs, we've got our, um, I, I do it from sitting in the furniture, the left skirt, 
the right skirt and then the center skirt. We got all our measurements for when we get out to the cutting table. So now that we have all our skirt length, where do we put it on the pattern when we're out there on the cutting table? It's simple for the back. All you have to do is put the pleat at the center point of your pattern. Since we've already made the pattern, we put our center pins, half of the pattern is where your pleat's going to go in the back. Now the front's a little more trickier because you have three seat cushions. And what we're going to do is measure the left to right of your seat cushion. This is 24, so that's going to be 12 over. So from here, this is your center. Just imagine your, your uh, pattern is here. You measure 12 over, and that's going to be your, um, your pleat right there. So the measurement of your cushion, half of it, 12, because this one's 24. And then that's where I'm going to put my pleat mark on my pattern. I'm going to show you when we get out there on the table. Now we're here at the table and I took the pattern and put it on the fabric, our top fabric that we're going to use, and I'm going to define where the pleats need to go on the front of the sofa. This is the fold right here, and as I said, 12 inches over. For now I'm just going to use a little pencil mark here on the pattern, and you can put it right here if you want on the um, on the top fabric as well. But what's best when sewing is if you just take your scissors and don't go too far, but just take a little snip like that. And then when you're at the sewing table, you'll know that's where I need to have my pleat. And then when you open this up, you would see, try to imagine this being opened up, center cushions here, sitting in the furniture, left side sitting here, right side sitting there, pleats here, over on this side, pleats there, in the center, they're on both your sides, left and right. So that's how you know where to transfer your pleats on the front of the sofa to your pattern. So our next step is to take all our skirts and cut the length left to right. So what you're going to do is take these measurements here and you're going to add 12 inches to them. And the reason being is that will allow for your pleats to go in come out, but also you need seam allowance. So 12 inches to all these numbers that we gathered um, on the sofa for the, uh, the uh, skirt lengths. So let's take, for example, the skirt for the uh, front right sitting in the sofa. That's 29 inches, and it's going to, we're going to add 12 to that. So you got 29 plus 12 equals 41 inches. So I'm going to take one of these skirts here, and you try to use it as efficiently as possible, so don't take your longest one and chop that down. You might need that somewhere else. So try to get the smallest one first, and we're going to cut that to 41 inches. And earlier we've already cut the, this is called the depth, we've already cut that. Um, that's always two inches more than you're finished, because when you put the liner on, which we'll, we'll explain to you, uh, the difference is made up in seam allowance, and also it folds up on top of itself. So this here is 13 and a half inches. The finished that we want our skirts to end up at is 11 and a half. So we added the two, and now we're going to take our smallest one, uh, the smallest number on the page, with adding the 12 to it, and then cut it to the proper size. And that's what I'm going to do next. A couple of uh, helpful tips that will uh, make it a little faster for you is you're going to need a front right and a front left. Well, they're the same measurement, so are the back left and the back right. So just double your fabric up as I did here on the table. I've got two on um, uh, together. So two here, two there. This is going to be my center here. I want to tell you two important things. Number one, don't forget and accidentally cut off because you want a clean, straight 90, uh, 90 degree turn here. Don't forget and cut off your arrow. So what I do is I like to put them on both sides. So in case, you know, I do cut it off, I, I, you know, I make a mistake and not put it on there immediately, I know I can look on the other side. But you do want to have a straight, clean um, a line there for your sewing. And uh, don't forget your arrows. And then double them to make it faster for you. So that's what I'm going to do right now is cut these to the proper length. Okay, so now I just finished cutting the last uh, skirt for our um, slip cover. And a little helpful hint, always leave like little breadcrumbs as far as knowing what uh, it is. So this is the backs, and I did that for the sides, I did it for the front skirts as well. Because when you get the sewing table, you don't have to pull out your measurement and say which one is this. So always leave little breadcrumbs as to where you're going and where you've been and stuff like that. It makes it so much easier. Or any other method that you come up with will, will work. Now the next step is sewing all these skirts together. 
and it depends on where you want your zipper to be uh, where you're going to start on the sewing. So if you want your, let's just say this is the sofa. Uh, cushion here, cushion here, cushion here. Here's the back. This is the front. If you want your zipper to be on the back right, so like I said, I always, always make my left and right from sitting in the furniture. It's so much easier just to do it that way. If you want it in the back right, you're going to have to start your sewing on the right side, going around the side here, the front, pleat, front, pleat, uh, side pleat, and until you get back around here, then you're going to put your zipper in. You stop obviously there. The next step is a zipper. If for some reason you don't want to see the zipper because of the positioning of the room where you're going to put your sofa, you want it on the left side, then you're going to do the same thing but opposite. You're going to start on the front. I mean, you're going to start in, on the uh, left side and work your way up to the front left and then um, skirt, pleat, uh, skirt, pleat, and then so on. So you get the point. If you want your skirt to be on a specific side, you have to start at a specific point. So let's get started. So now our next step is we're cut all our uh, skirts to the proper length. We're going to put them together. We're going to sew them together. It's very simple. We well, first start by pinning them all together. Now, as we mentioned, where we want our zipper is important. We want it on the back right. So we're going to start with the right side and go around to the front and, and so forth. So we pin them in that order and we have our um, tags on here on each and every one of them. And they're pinned together, uh, making sure the arrows are all going up. And we're going to go to the sewing machine. It's so easy. We're just simply going to do a half inch and sew them together. So that's our next step. Go to the sewing machine, sew these half inch. Okay, so now we have all our skirts sewn together, just a simple half inch there. And uh, now we're going to talk about the liner. It's very important that uh, you remember these two things, and that is the depth of your liner is the finished measurement of your skirt. So we cut the skirts 13 and a half, that top fabric, I should say, and the liner is a finished size. So we want it finished, done, completed at 11 and a half. And that is exactly what your skirts need to be. There's a couple, there's actually three things I want to tell you. One was just that. The other one is always railroad your liner. Don't, don't do it from salvage to salvage. It, it, um, it's stronger. It has less stretch when it's railroaded. So always railroad your fabric. And the other one is do not cut your liner down to the length of our measurements. So as, you're no, as you know, we added 12 inches. We'll just grab the front right one here is 29. We added 12, it's 41. Don't cut your liner 41 to fit in there. And this is why. The fold, we, we, we aim to getting the, the seams into the pleats, into the folds. And it's gonna to be too much bulk. If your liner is in there with the seams, and then your top fabrics in the fold with the seams, it's going to get too bulky. So what I want you to do is cut these to length, sew them together, take your liner, railroad it, but I want 54 inch length, seven of them. And all your skirts are going to be seven too, by the way. So it's the same with the, um, when, when you're cutting your skirts as well, seven inches, uh, seven complete as well for a three seat cushion sofa. Seven skirts, seven liners, 54 inches, cut to the proper size, add it with 12. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to quickly pin the liner to the top fabric of our skirt and look for the arrow. Very important because we're going to sew our liner starting at the bottom. Just a, just a half inch, just like that is what we're going to do. And uh, I want to show you this, uh, what I was talking about, the stretch of the liner. You can see that stretch. That's like a board. So you don't want this to stretch because it's going to skew your, your skirt if you, uh, do not, if you do not railroad your liner. You have to do that. So what we're going to do is find the arrow. And this, the arrow is up there. So the bottom is here. I'm just doing this quickly for you to see. And we're going to go to the sewing machine and sew that on like that. That's, that, that. that's our next step. So now that we're at the uh, sewing table, I want to tell you as well, it's very important to keep your skirts neat, keep them fan folded, get a chair next to you or whatever your operation is for you, and keep the liners as neat as you can too in your lap or w whatever works for you. And the reason is, is because if you have a ball of a mess here and you're trying to sew a half inch, as you're going along, you're going to try to straighten all this out and you're going to start running off. You're going to get down to a quarter inch and, and, and um, 
or whatever with your, your sewing. So it's very important to keep everything neat, flat as possible. When you get to your seams, open them up as well. When you get to a, a liner seam like this and the top fabric skirt seam, open them up and sew, sew them open. Don't, don't fold them over because it's going to get bulky right there. So all I'm doing is just a half inch. I got a reasonably uh, tight stitch there and um, I'm going to sew the whole length and then after that I iron them. To make the skirt look a lot nicer, it lays flat, have the liner on the sewing table rather than on top. With the thicker fabric of your top fabric for the skirt on the feed dog, it doesn't lay as flat. So keep your liner on the bottom when you're sewing your liner to your skirts. So we're ironing our um, skirts now when we sewed the liner on and I'll just show you a few uh, quick ideas of what to do with that. You want to iron it flat straight down like this. First get the proper uh, setting on your iron for the material you're using. You want to get as many wrinkles out as you possibly can. We're going to iron it flat down like this. And this is why we wanted to have the liner two inches short. I'm going to show you why right now. That looks okay. We're going to fold this up to the end of the skirt like that. And we're going to fold that down and we're going to iron this like that up to there. So just always keep an eye on if it's lining up at the edge. Keep an eye if this is even. Here at the bottom, this could come up just a little bit. <clears throat> Some fabrics will give you more of a crisp edge than others. And we have to deduct the half inch that we're going to be sewing on there, seeing that we're 12. It's perfect. So when we do a half inch up here, the finished skirt's going to be 11 and a half. So that, that's why you do two inches shorter with your liner. And when you come to an intersection for the liner and the uh, skirt with the, uh, not an intersection, but a seam, Iron them open. Okay, so, so go through there and iron them open. Don't, don't have them laying on top of each other like that. It gets too bulky. And when you're ready to um, fold it, fan fold it like this as you go down. It makes it so much easier when you get over to the sewing machine when you put them on there. So make sure that you fan fold these and it, it'll work out perfectly. So we're going to do this with the whole skirt and then uh, get to the sewing of it. So that's the end of the episode of putting a skirt on a slipcover. And we hope you enjoyed it, and we want to thank you for watching. So now you know what to do if you want a skirt on your slipcover.